You've probably noticed that designations like F-22 and F-35 have long become something like brand names among fighter jets. The F-47? It sounds familiar, yet you've likely never seen it anywhere. Recently, however, rumors have started circulating that this number might become the official designation for the NGAD program, Next Generation Air Dominance. Yes, that very aircraft meant to replace the F-22 Raptor. So much more capability. What will shock you even more is that the foundation for NGAD is actually the old experimental concept X-44 Manta, which was essentially based on the F-22 but without a tail, literally. No vertical or horizontal stabilizers, just a simple delta wing and full control through thrust vectoring. Imagine a fighter jet that can pivot in the air almost on the spot, not because it's ultra light, but because physics lets it do things other jets simply can't. And here's the twist. For years, Lockheed Martin has been the undisputed king of U.S. combat aircraft. The F-22, F-35, those are their creations. But guess who's leading the NGAD development? You won't believe it. Boeing. Yep, the same Boeing everyone associates with commercial jets, like the 747 or 737. But they've got credentials. The F-15, for instance, is theirs too. And that old man is still dominating the skies, especially in its EX version. Get bored, it does not get tired, and it excels at the mundane. Why was Boeing chosen? First off, they proposed a unique design. Instead of the traditional fuselage and wings layout, it's essentially a flying wing, dramatically reducing radar signature. Second, the new engine is adaptive, capable of adjusting its performance depending on altitude and flight mode. It delivers over 40,000 pounds of thrust while burning 25% less fuel than the F-22. Range? Over 1,500 miles without refueling. This isn't just a fighter, it's part reconnaissance, part strike platform, part seed hunter. As for weapons, no surprises here, JATAM is the next-gen missile with a clear edge over China's PL-15. It boasts a range of over 125 miles and speeds exceeding Mach 5. There's also the air-to-ground JASM ER and potentially even micro-drones for escort or electronic warfare. And the laser weapons? Still experimental for now, ground systems like Helios or Dragonfire are already operational, but good luck fitting one on a stealth jet without compromising shape. Boeing says they've got concepts, but for now they're sticking to classic missile systems. In the past, you may have needed you know, a whole strike from a carrier to be able to do that. Now you just do it with one airplane. The NGAD, or possibly the F-47, will be a multi-role aircraft, semi-autonomous, and capable of operating without a pilot or as part of a drone combat group. Its mission isn't just to win an air battle, it's to ensure the battle never happens. Detect the enemy first, strike, disappear. Compared to the J-20 or Su-57, the NGAD will be faster, quieter, and smarter. Think of a computer with gamer reflexes that also has missiles in its pocket. But here's the real kicker, the consequences. If everything goes according to plan, the U.S. will have a jet that ends the debate on air superiority. If it doesn't, it'll cost billions. So Boeing's task isn't just to build a new jet, it's to build a whole new level of warfare. Now imagine being tasked with designing a fighter that's better than anything that's ever flown. Sounds awesome, right? But in reality, it's a nightmare for engineers, generals, and frankly, politicians. Because how do you give a fighter jet artificial intelligence capable of making its own decisions when you're not entirely sure whether it'll follow orders or decide to play Skynet? And this is where the real debate begins. Some say AI just isn't ready yet. It could make mistakes, like misidentifying a commercial airliner as a threat, or worse, start thinking for itself. Others are confident it's simply a new tool, one that follows orders just as well as a human pilot, only faster and more accurately. But there's a catch. For this tool to work as intended, it needs an insanely precise and expensive support system, communications networks, satellites, ground control stations, and robust cybersecurity. And all of it has to operate flawlessly. What complicates things even more is that NGAD's been in development for years, and suddenly, hey Boeing, you're in charge now. Kind of suspicious, right? Maybe Lockheed fell behind on deadlines or overran the budget. Or maybe the opposite. Boeing already has something so powerful the government isn't ready to reveal it yet. 
because the moment they show their hand, rivals like China or Russia might react aggressively. Keeping a card up your sleeve? That's a strategy, too. Now compare that to Britain's Tempest or Japan's FX. They're impressive, no doubt. Promising, advanced, ambitious, but their philosophies differ. Tempest is focused on drone teaming and open architecture. The FX emphasizes maneuverability, 360-degree sensor coverage, and cybersecurity. Meanwhile, America's NGAD seems to be playing a completely different game. They don't just want a new fighter, they want an aerial hunter, one that already knows who to target and where. And here's the twist in the game. What if the F-47 isn't just another aircraft, but a whole new concept of future warfare? Silence instead of engine roar, a swarm of drones instead of a squadron, a strike before the enemy even knows what hit them. And all of it under the control of a machine, one that was training on simulations yesterday and is planning real-world strikes today. But the name F-47? That's a story of its own. Dig a little into history and you'll find that designation already existed. It belonged to the Republic F-47 Thunderbolt, a legendary World War II ground attack aircraft, originally called the P-47 before the redesignation. And now, nearly 80 years later, we're hearing about the F-47 again, but this time as a sixth-generation fighter. Coincidence? Well, in the military world, very little happens by accident. Maybe it's a symbolic reboot, as if they're saying, here's your new Thunderbolt, now with lasers, artificial intelligence, and stealth so advanced even Google Maps couldn't spot it. Or maybe it's a tribute to the past. The old F-47 once fought for control of the skies, and the new one will too, just in a very different kind of war, where the main weapons aren't just missiles, but data, reaction speed, and digital dominance. Either way, it feels like a legacy. Not just a name, but a story that's being passed down and carried forward. So there you have it, my friend. As you can see, this is serious business and just a little sci-fi. But hey, that's the world we're living in. Either you're flying with AI on board, or you're getting shot down by someone who is.